Hello, everyone, and welcome back to True Crime Podcast. I'm Blair, and this is episode 63. As we discussed on last week's episode, the police believe that a karambit knife may have been used in these three grisly murders. The killer left behind a calling card at each of the crime scenes in the form of a swirling symbol that hasn't been identified yet. Now, this is interesting. Some experts theorize that the killer may have a limp in his left leg due to the unusually deep footprints on the right side seen at the crime scene. This led authorities to two main suspects, Fred Shaw, a local historian, and Andy Roberts, a security guard, both of whom I'm going to meet with tomorrow, as well as a third suspect that I believe is worth looking into. First, Fred Shaw, a historian who was the first suspect that authorities looked into. Along with other evidence they found, he has a limp that matches the footprints. Hello, welcome to 1849. My name is Jeff, and how can I help you? Are you Fred Shaw? Uh, who's, who's asking? My name's Blair. I'm doing a podcast on the Sacramento Slasher. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Look, I've got nothing to say. And I'm done talking to you people about it now. You're, su- you're such a pretty girl. You, you, you know... You should smile more and, you know, thank you for visiting and have a nice day. The second suspect, Andy Roberts, is now a security guard. Police suspected him due in part to his violent record. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me, Uh, are you Andy Roberts? Yeah, do I know you? No, I I was just hoping to talk to you about the Sacramento Slasher case. I put that all behind me four years ago. You people ruined my life by accusing me without any evidence. You know what? Look, I, I just had a couple of questions for you about your alibi the night of the first murder. You were never able to prove where you were. The third man that I'm adding to my list of suspects is a local metal worker here in Sacramento that makes and sells unique knives. I'll keep him anonymous for now. It may be a weak lead, but I'm willing to follow anything to solve this case. I'm looking for a karambit knife. It's about four inches long, similar to this one. Yeah, I have one that I made. It's, uh, it's in the back, but uh, it's not for sale. Come take a look if you want. Uh, yeah, okay. Take a look. How long ago did you make this? About six or seven years ago. Been asking a lot of questions. I've been looking into the Sacramento Slasher killings and according to police, a karambit knife was used as the weapon similar to this one. I'm sorry, I I actually have to run. Thank you. After meeting with all three suspects, I've hit a dead end. So I've decided to reopen the old case files and crime scene photos and start from the beginning. Maybe it'll help me see something I haven't seen yet. I mean, if the police miss this one guy, who knows what else they've been missing?
I was looking at the old coroner's photos from the first victim in 2014. I noticed that the blood on the victim's pants didn't match the color of the blood that the coroner claimed to find on the victim's left shoe. There was only one place that I could find that had red clay. A small river bank on the American River. The police believed that the first victim was killed where the body was found. But with the new evidence I've discovered, I believe that the body was killed at a red clay riverbank on the American River due to the red clay on the only shoe on the victim's body and the matching shoe that I found on the riverbank. This changes how I can triangulate where the three victims were killed. This also changes the center of that triangle, which is B-side bar. This happens to be the same bar where the first victim was last seen alive on that fateful night on New Year's Eve in 2014. Could this be a coincidence? Maybe, but I don't believe in coincidences. Tonight is also New Year's Eve. It's a long shot but I'm gonna go there tonight and see if one of our three main suspects will show his face at the bar. This would prove that he is the killer. You people ruined my life by accusing me without any evidence. You're such a pretty girl. You, you know, you should smile. You've been asking a lot of questions. 